Newport, Rhode Island, the Volvo Ocean Race Boats being the relay to Newport on Sunday. A sailing competition beginning in Spain heads to its ninth destination, and it's in Newport. Crews sailing around the world, ready to put Rhode Island on the map. The stock right at Fort Adams is where teams are expected to arrive in a little over two weeks. Crews leave South America Sunday, going straight towards New England. This is one of the hardest legs the teams will do because they come into the North Atlantic after they cross a Gulf Stream. It's cold. It's foggy, said Brad Reed, Sam Newport executive director. A fleet of boats leaving Brazil Sunday morning, with next stop to the Ocean State, where a few years ago, over 131,000 people came to watch the ships arrive. It really showcases Rhode Island to the world, said Reed. The excitement is growing for the Volvo Ocean Race with Sunday's Newport watch party, as the best sailors around the world race to the finish. Sailing around the world is a challenge. Said Reed. Some local teams and other Americans right now spread out across the ocean with their eyes on the prize. Incredible because they're out in 15 knot winds and 20 foot waves, said Reed. Boats have broken their masts. And unfortunately, this year, there's been a loss of life. Seven teams began sailing in October from Spain with a worldwide daring journey expected through July. A tea became a dangerous and deadly race. Some boats sank, leaving fishermen needing to be saved. Britain's John Fisher who is based in Adelaide, Australia, was sailing on the 70-foot team Sunungai slash Scallywag in the Auckland, New Zealand to eat a Brazil leg of the prestigious around the world race when he went overboard in 35 knot winds and fierce seas. Someone was washed overboard. John Fisher from Adelaide, an Australian unfortunately didn't make it all the way to Brazil. And we get to celebrate those boats that are coming here. Said Reed. The Newport team called this his 11th hour racing struggling a bit, after losing the mast, but there's still hope, despite Sunday afternoon where they're in last place. We're really excited to see Vessel's 11th hour racing return back to Newport. They train here. They practice here, said Alex Redkin, Volvo Ocean Race commercial manager. The only North American stopover of the Volvo Ocean Race will be hosted by Sail Newport Rhode Island's Public Sailing Center, the state of Rhode Island. The RI Department of Environmental Management or DEM, Commerce Re and Discover Newport, May 8th to 20th, 2018. The 13 day stopover celebration and festival will be open to the public for free and will include a race village. On the water, activities and sailing events are scheduled for each day, such as free tri sailing. For all ages, M32 and other sailboat racing, up close viewing of the race boats at dock and racing during the Pro Am race, the import race. And the boat parade in Lake Star to Cardiff, Wales, May 20, 2018. All sailing will take place within close viewing range of the race village. I can't get to